a long-awaited update is coming to Battle Pass. From May 12 through May 23, a new temporary chapter will be available. It's a new take on the well-known Tank Challenge event. Now, within Battle Pass, you'll get a chance to obtain a Tier 8 Premium Vehicle without spending a thing. The key difference of this temporary chapter, however, is its progression. Before, you had to complete missions for mastery or commitment to get to the vehicle. Now, it's a single path without any special conditions. Battle Pass points are used for progression in this temporary chapter. It's important to remember that only points earned after activating this temporary chapter will count toward progression through it. Just as before, you can get them by fighting any types of random battles, except for grand battles. Each vehicle also has its own point limit, and you'll be granted additional points after you reach it. If you fight random battles in this season's core vehicles, you can earn points even faster. You'll also get Battle Pass points for completing daily missions. The nice thing is that most of them can be completed in the background while you play normally. If you're not happy with the daily missions, you can swap one of them every four hours. You'll also get extra points for completing 45 daily missions. To complete the entire temporary chapter, you need to pass through 40 stages. Like with the other Battle Pass chapters, two reward tracks are available to you. Base and Improve. Base rewards include credits, bonds, Days of World of Tanks Premium account, personal reserves, and directives. A Tier 8 Premium Tank is the main prize. If you purchase an improved pass, you can expect more rewards and a brand new, unique style awaits you at the end. With an improved pass, you'll also be able to buy stages, meaning the overall cost of the main reward is determined by you. You can choose what stages to complete on your own or to purchase for gold. The main prize for the temporary chapter of Battle Pass Season 7 is the first Tier 8 Premium Czechoslovakian Tank Destroyer, the Spitek TVP-100. This vehicle's armor is exactly what you would expect for a light tank destroyer. The thickness of the armor plates at the front of the turret and hull reaches 65 millimeters, which can easily be penetrated even by Tier 6 vehicles. That means you'll have to move a lot. Thankfully, the TVP-100 can do that. Its top speed is 55 kilometers per hour. Its specific power is almost 22 horsepower per ton. This vehicle is able to easily change flanks, retreat if things get heated, and be the first to take up comfortable sniper positions. It has no problem with shooting either. The TVP-100 has a magnificent gun. Its accuracy and stabilization are excellent, and its aiming time is downright amazing. At this rate, stabilization isn't even that important. You will have time to aim between shots and even after you stop. The low shell velocity takes some getting used to, though, especially when firing at moving targets. But penetrating is a piece of cake for sure. Armor penetration with a standard shell is 270 millimeters. This means you can do without special ammo and earn some credits. The nicest thing about this gun is that it makes its presence felt. We're talking about DPM. With the standard configuration, this vehicle can deal 2,778 HP of damage per minute, or 3,597 if the configuration is right. This makes the TVP-100 one of the toothiest Tier 8 tank destroyers out there. There are faster-firing rivals, sure. But none of them can do this. All in all, this vehicle is perfect for support tactics from long distances. Due to its DPM and accuracy, you can deter the enemy's advance or prevent it altogether. The concealment isn't bad given the size, but it's better not to take risks. and rather fire from behind bushes after rolling back 15 meters. 
There's a catch to this tactic, however. Your opponents might be more passive and never lay themselves open, which will negate your DPM. If that's the case, play more aggressively. First, try to move to the second line to reduce the distance. If there are pushes to take advantage of, great. If not, use your mobility. Roll out of your cover and fire as soon as the enemy is distracted. This way, you're more likely to inflict damage and save your hit points. If your allies are on the offensive, you can move even closer to the front line. In this case, you first need to take up a position behind sturdier allies. After that, take your time. The TVP-100 is not a vehicle that should shoot first. Your task is to wait until the enemy does. Then, fire several of your own shells. But don't get carried away. If you succumb to the temptation to cause as much damage as possible, you risk losing all of your hit points. This is the downside of high DPM. When firing at a reloading enemy, keep a cool head and stay in control of your actions. Such a playstyle requires experience and skill. So don't rush to the front line immediately. Try playing from a distance to get the hang of the vehicle. Depending on the map and your tactics for it, you can choose different vehicle configurations. For long-range fire support, use gun rammer, camouflage net and binocular telescope. For a more aggressive playstyle, gun rammer, turbocharger and coated optics. Field modification might also help you improve the most important characteristics. Mobility, accuracy and concealment after firing. Among the perks, sound detection is worth your attention, as it will help you get away from artillery shots in time. The PTK TVP-100 is a tank destroyer with a deceptive look. It has no armor, that's true. But, on the other hand, this doesn't prevent it from being in the thick of things. It doesn't have too many hit points, but after you get into its crosshair, you won't have many either. The PTK TVP-100 is proof that the most important part of a tank is its commander.